Now, in case you thought Swiss architecture was all about formality, meet Peter Vetch. For decades, Peter has been suggesting that living in a cave, or rather an earth-covered home, was environmentally friendly and forward-thinking. Considered by the architectural establishment as out of touch, or maybe even a crackpot, climate change and sensible environmental concerns may just be forcing a reassessment of Peter's ideas. I have seen that the whole society goes in the wrong direction. Man consumes a lot, man makes the nature kaputt, man the architecture verbetoniert alles. In der Schweiz haben wir jede Sekunde wird eine Riesenfläche verbetoniert. Und ich habe die Idee gehabt, man muss ein Haus bauen, das man mit Erde überdeckt und dann hat man Grün drauf. Das verbessert die Luft, es hilft isolieren, ich fühle mich wohl drin. Und das ist ein Riesenvorteil. Peter's models are undoubtedly beautiful, organic creations. And you do get the feeling that his ideas may be moving from the periphery to prophecy. When I build a house, when I so a house, baue, so, 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 bang, so a house, then I have to stark decken, stark decken. And when I build so a house, baue, I make so a house, with the nature, I can even cover it. Weil hier hat so viel Energiekraft drin. Oder? Durch die Statik ich kann das sehr stark belasten. Drei Meter Erde. Ohne Probleme. So, do these amazing ideas actually work? You bet they do. And in the absolute heart of Switzerland is Giswil and the dream home of Urs and Sylvana Schwab. Giswil is, is in the center of Switzerland, just opposite uh, of, of the valley. There's another small valley and there is the geographical center of Switzerland. When we decide to buy, build a house, we, we looked around for the forms of the houses and we see the most of, of the houses are just squares. It's just a normal form. And uh, as we look in the internet for round houses, you find uh, actually Peter Fetch. On this picturesque site, this new age couple have created a cave for the new millennium. It was a great experience to work together with Peter Fetch and uh, he bring in his idea. I could learn a lot about building houses. And on the other way, we can, could bring in our um, crea creativity. creativity. So the house is standing now here as we liked it. Erz and Silvana live, work and create in this remarkable home. Yeah, it's a greenhouse. I mean, actually, we have a good insulation. Yeah, We have, we have the, the earth on the top of, of, of the house as well, who keeps also the, the, the warm inside, the cold outside. We have these big windows, which actually in, in the wintertime, when the, when the sun is, is running deep, it, it helps to heat up the house. And in summertime, the, the sun stays more high, so uh, the, 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 the sunlight is coming in, but not the heat. Actually, so we don't have to cool it down in the summer. The room is nearly round, and this, it's a good feeling to sleep, like in the stomach, stomach for a mother. <laughs> the best room, the second one. So also here we see this uh, nice mosaic Silvana did. Yeah. The light is coming up from the top, or coming down from the top, which makes a really uh, lightening, shiny room. Late in life, the patient Peter Vert is enjoying validation with several other projects underway, including this kindergarten and community centre. So Peter, it looks like you want us all to live underground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, great, but just one question. Where are you going to find people this small? That's in kindergarten, and the friend says, I'm like it. Oh, Peter, it's a touch of Zoolander in Zurich. Who knew? <laughs>